my channel. But today is part two of Thrift With Me in Arizona. If you didn't see last week's video, I went thrifting in Arizona with my mom and my sister for my mom's birthday. We went to like Goodwill. Um, this place is called White Dove Thrift Shop. It was really good. And then we did a haul, but I wanted to do a try on haul in a separate video because of my traveling. So this is this week's video, try on haul of all my findings from last week. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure to check it out. It was really funny and fun and we had a good time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mallory. I do a lot of thrifting. I do a lot of shopping, if you will. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're into those things. I live in New York. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired this week, you guys. I don't know what is going on, but anyway, so moving on. Try and haul starts now. Good God, can people shut up? I, when I was shopping, my sister was like, Mallory, I literally just bought you this. I don't know if you saw this video, but my sister flipped it for me in Florida and then shipped me all the stuff. So I got this. I love it. Like, look how cute. It's great texture. Literally like the same color, basically. It's a mock neck. So cozy cute. I wear it literally all the time. She was like, you don't need this top. It does the same thing. And I was like, you're not right. Like, it's so different. Whatever. Come here. And I'm like, I cannot think of anything to style this with other than literally the same outfits that I wear this top with. So here's my outfit. Um, you've seen it before, I'm sure, on my Instagram or whatever. This skirt is from Zara. It's really cute. It brings out that like pink color. I probably should sell it because it doesn't make sense to have two. And like I said in the beginning, we're going to try to see what I actually need. And this is something that I didn't actually need. And I still bought it. But it's kind of a vibe. Like, I don't know. I might regret selling it. But also, don't need it. I don't know. Okay, this outfit is such a vibe though. Like, look at these shoes with these pants. I've never thought to do this, but so cute. I really need a black belt, which was, I was looking for one in Arizona. Thought I would find one, but I didn't find anything great. My black belt, totally like the uh, grommet on it broke off. So, I need to get a new one. Like, super cute. So maybe I do keep it. I don't know. It is kind of a vibe. Okay, we'll just see. I am really giving like mom energy right now, but we're gonna make it cute. So I think I would like to crop it potentially, but it also kind of looks cute zhuzhed up, right? Maybe we have like a little sliver showing. Then I think it'll be cute with this little quilted jacket, but maybe it's not cute. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I feel like people are dressing like this these days. I saw someone say everyone's dressing like Matilda. And by someone, I mean something on TikTok I saw. Everyone's dressing like Matilda, like either the mom, the dad, the daughter, or like the random guy, the random little boy. And I thought it was hilarious because it's so true. I'm giving the little girl today. But I feel like I would probably think someone was pretty cool in this outfit. So maybe it's fine. Okay, so next, I recently got these earrings for $20 from Nordstrom Rack. I'll link them. They are so lightweight, like, I don't know if you can tell. I wore them. Well, I tried them on and then I wore them and I was like, wait, I can't even feel these. Like, they're so cute. I think I'm gonna wear them for that wedding coming up on Nordstrom. It says they're originally $125. I cannot imagine these were $125 ever. So that's probably a scam marketing moment, but they are really pretty. So I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> also, I freaking love this skirt and I completely forgot I had it because I had it in my matching set um, section of my closet. And I think it looks really cute with this little top. Um, this top is Ted Baker. I'm like shook. I think it was under $10, which is such a steal. Oh, I also recently bought these from also Nordstrom Rack, I think. They're Steve Madden's. Super cute. They came in a little more shiny than I thought, but I do love metallic. And so I put a little poll on my Instagram story and everyone was like, keep, keep, keep. So we're keeping them. I think they're so cute. Would be great for outfits like this. Just like really spice it up. And then of course my Teddy Blake bag. So adorbs. Like, isn't this just the most fun summer outfit? I do wish that the placement of the print was a little better because like the best part of the print is not, like they didn't do a placement when they put this through production. It's kind of cute like this. I feel like people are wearing stuff like this more than tucked in lately. What do we think? Tucked in, not tucked in. I feel like I for sure will wear this this summer. A little print mix moment. And the colors are really like, the tones like play well off each other, I think. Anyway, great find. I love this one. Next up, this little candy from J. Crew. Super cute. I wish it was a little tighter. It kind of cuts into my arms and is not like as tight as I want it through the body. But I think it's great for work. Also great for like, this outfit would be great for vacation, dinner, with the same shoes, same earrings, like really elevated this skirt I bought this winter uh, from Mango bag last year H&M like it is kind of a vibe so I don't know but I also think it'll be fine with jeans literally underneath whatever for work or something but I do like the neckline like it is really nice um and you don't have to wear raw which we always love so it's like a modest little tank right okay like I just throw on shorts because I'm gonna put this outfit on for the next one 
so easy, so cute. Like, I just love this neckline. Always look for the tanks, the camis, the tees. Because you'll be surprised. There's some goodies in there at the thrift stores. All right, last find. I wanted to wear my hair down for this, but I didn't end up having time to do it, so my hair went in a claw clip wet. So just pretend it looks really gorgeous um, and doesn't have all these, like, dry cane things. <laughs> okay, headband, so cute. Um, how I want to wear this, I don't know. I threw on easy slides, these jean shorts. I think, like, I've seen people wear, like, you know, they're doing this a lot, but, like, unless you're literally walking around like this, hey okay like you look like this right so i think we'll make her cool by rolling up the sleeves step one always roll up the sleeves in my opinion i think it just makes you look casual cool like chill girl so boom and then like this obviously is like that mandarin collar so it's not very open i think we should do a full tuck well let's start with a one tuck and see how that looks okay i'm not a complete hater I popped one side of the collar so it's like uneven. Kind of adorable. Where's my little Percy? Okay, we add a nice fun bag. Like we really brought this maybe more classic style and like more conservative look to like, you know, pretty casual, pretty cute. I would literally wear this to the office. I don't know if I can wear jean shorts. But I think I can if they're like long enough. But yeah, this is this is this is a vibe. This is a vibe. I'm here for it. 10 out of 10 purchase, so cute. And it reminds me of that Zimmerman. I think I already said that, but right? It's kind of giving Zimmerman. All right, so here I have it with the fun little silver pants. I feel like I'm giving like Sandro, Maj, I don't know, Cezanne, like one of those, you know, European bronze. And honestly, now that I have the pink shoes on, I'm kind of like, I think the pink gets it, makes it too sweet. Like, maybe it needs to be more cool. Like, I should, like, put on black heels. I am absolutely wearing this to work next time I go in. So freaking cute. I think I'm going to go for these heels that absolutely kill my feet. Um, and I still haven't gotten rid of them because I think they're so cute. I'm like, it might be worth the pain. I think it'll take one more wear for me to be like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just the heel in general that I'm not loving. Do we love the heel? Can you see it? So like this combination is freaking phenoms. Maybe it's just that I need like a black handbag to balance it out. In there. I hate how big the silver buckle is here, or the, you know what I'm saying. But this is also like a little too cash. No, I used to have a black shoulder bag with nothing on it. Yeah, I don't like this. Okay, you know what? I think the black bag like ties it together and now it's like a vibe. Super cute for cocktails or whatever. You know, have this stake down. What do you think? I think this might be my favorite look in a while. I feel very, like, creative, very cool. Definitely feel like it's a vibe. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, so now for the home stuff. Fast forward. I forgot to do this um, when I did my try-on haul, but I want to put it in this video because it's so cute. In case you didn't see part one, you have to see part two. Look at this freaking thing. It's so cute. I'm literally so excited. This better be in focus. All right, I think we're in the clear. It is a hand-painted little Siamese cat, which I'm not a big like, cat girly, but this really spoke to me. I love the colors, you know. I thought it would go really well for my art wall. If you didn't know, I've been trying to thrift a lot of art stuff and um, get my house together, if you will. So I was very excited about that. It was $5. Are you kidding? The next thing I got is this little tray, and my sister had a really good idea to put, like, salt and pepper or like oil or something on it but then I like went and tried and all my stuff is too big because it's really like kind of a small um square part and then it has this like ledge so I was a little sad because this looks kind of silly in it too so I don't really know what I'm going to do with it you'll have to check out my apartment tours eventually um to see what I end up doing here but I washed it and it's so much cleaner um and it looks really good so that's exciting the next thing I got is this little pot. So it was $5 from that White Dove thrift shop again. I think it's so cute. I wanted to put it in my coffee table area, but it's actually quite fat. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen or something. And I think it'd be cute with fresh flowers in there or maybe pot, like a potted flower, but I don't know if you can do that because there's no like, like what's it called thing. Oh, it, it says MK on it. That's my initials. 
sweet. That's so cute. Small wins. Um, so I think she's just really cute, and I'm really excited about her. But, yeah. You know? Cute. What else? What else? What else? What else? There were four things, right? No? Okay, that. Oh. Then I got this bag, which I should have styled it up, but I totally forgot because it was over here. It's just has a little leather handles. It's so cute. Like, I love the print. I think it'll be great for going bopping around in the summer. Maybe I go to the park, throw in a nice blanket. It's really lightweight. So, you know, I think it'll be great. And also, I think it'll hold up in, like, in New York, you know, you just have to carry so much crap with you. So, I thought that was really nice. And it was $5, too. It was, like, literally the cheapest home decor section store ever. I think the most expensive painting was, like, massive. And it was, like, 100 bucks. And, I don't know, New York, like, that painting right there would have literally been $300. I swear. Like, I think it would have been. But that was, like, so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a very good time. I meant to go thrifting in New Orleans, and I'm so sorry to disappoint. Fair warning, I did not make it thrifting. We woke up at, like, 10.30 on Sunday, and then I was just, like, my flight was at 1.30. I didn't feel great. I literally drank so much all day at the wedding. I was obsessed with the wedding. It was gorgeous. We went on Bourbon Street. Like, I don't even know. I, honestly... I could have gone thrifting, but it would have only been for like an hour because we went and got food. And then by that time it was 12.30 and I was like, okay, like I could go. But then I was just like, I don't know. Some of the stores were closed on Sundays. It just was like not giving the vibe. So I'll have to make myself go back and do it like as a Saturday day trip to go thrifting there. But overall, literally New Orleans was so much fun and I've been dead all week trying to recover. It was exhausting, but like in the best way possible. The wedding was gorgeous. I'll put some photos in here. I think I'm going to do a little vlog on my um, YouTube shorts too. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. If you watch all my videos and you haven't subscribed, like that is so rude. Like you should totally subscribe. Follow me on everything. Instagram, TikTok, all the things. I'm not really sure what my next video is going to be. But if I said I'm going to do something and I haven't done it, like please let me know what it is. And I will add it to my list i have a few things on my list that i need to do i think i'm gonna start ordering some stuff because i've been shopping a lot but like ordering some stuff to do the thrift flips and things like that i'm really just rambling now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i love you so much and i'll see you guys next week new videos every thursday goodbye